My name is Jenna Pallant, and I'm a style crazed full-time creative living in sunny San Diego. In 2016, my husband and I purchased our forever home, and now in between balancing my upholstery business, our four dogs, and just life in general, I'm going to renovate our home room by room, project by project myself, with some fun help from a few of my friends along the way. And I'm gonna share it all with you right here on YouTube. So, are you ready to see a room bloom? Hey there, cover lovers, and welcome to the upholstery-specific episodes for my spring 2020 one-room challenge. And yes, you did in fact hear me correctly on the plural. I did in fact mean episodes. That's right, fellow ORC crazies. I am going to break down the entire upholstery process for the living room circular 70 sofa. Why? Well, for starters, this trade, my trade of upholstery is sadly a dying trade, especially here in the US of A. And secondly, there is an ignorant misconception that upholstery is easy, when in fact, it is not. I cannot tell you how many times clients, usually male, get my upholstery labor quote and scoff at the price. Usually saying something to the extent of, how can it be this much for labor? Are you crazy? Upholstery isn't even hard. In which I politely reply with, well then I welcome you to reupholster your own furniture. You see, color lovers, kindness is sometimes you just happen to be kind to others, not because they are kind to you, but because you are kind. Thus is why today, and in the following weeks, I am going to use Room Bloom to help educate you all on the trade of upholstery, starting with the tedious task of tearing down that circular 70s sofa to its base structure. To get started, you're gonna need the following tools. Needle nose pliers, a staple remover, a plethora of new razor blades, work gloves, protective eyewear, and a mask, you know, for when it starts getting really dirty. Oh, and it's also a good idea for the old back if you can put the furniture you're working on up on something, like sawhorses. All right, let's get started. Taking a brand new razor blade, start cutting the outside back of the sofa, keeping those extra razor blades close by because nothing tolls a razor blade faster than an upholstery hair down. Next, remove both the padding and the cardboard backing from the sofa's outside back. Then it's time to start the lengthy removal process of tack strips and upholstery staples. Using both the staple remover and needle nose pliers interchangeably as needed. And these three steps is pretty much what you do again and again for the entire teardown process. Work your way from the outside back of the furniture, slowly releasing each part of its past its prime upholstery fabric, including the attachment of both the inside back and the inside seat. Which is also when I discovered that I was in fact correct in guessing the decade of the circular sofa's conception. August 1973, baby. You taught me well, Eric. You taught me well. The only part of this teardown that really caught me off guard was the attachment of the tufted buttons. You see, I was educated the old school way, tufting by hand using a giant needle with button string. This particular sofa's tufting, however, looked industrial in nature, which honestly surprised me. In eight years of business, I have yet to run across anything like it. But with the help of my handy dandy staple remover, I was able to MacGyver a way to release the back locking mechanism of each button so I could tear them out without ruining the sofa's original stuffing. As I try to reuse as much as possible in the upholstery process in an attempt to keep more stuff out of the landfills. I also held on to both the inside backs and the inside seats of the original upholstery fabric so I could tear out their seams and make sewing patterns from them, taking out a lot of the guesswork in the reupholstering process. And that's basically how you tear down a piece of furniture, which probably looks super simple after watching a short video like this one. But what you need to realize, y'all, is that teardown you just witnessed was actually a 10-hour workday. It's a process where you aren't only tearing off old upholstery fabric, but are also removing thousands of upholstery staples, which can be daunting and is time consuming AF. You just gotta stick with it though. Mind over matter. Please join me back here next week, color lovers, as I take this now tore down 1970s circular sofa and start recovering it with new poly wrap padding. Heck, I might
might even start showing you some of the upholstery fabric I have for the project. Who knows? Stay tuned and please don't forget it's always a great day to have a good one. Laters! Thank you.